Republicans took a number of L's last night and none with grace. As far as, you know, it, it does seem like the, the Republican Party generally has a real problem with uh, with winning. Uh, it, you know, it, it certainly was in the midterms here and now in this one as well. Um, and, and you wonder, do we have the right people in place to be putting the messaging together to the, the people that are supposed to be there to get the early vote out to, to, to do these jobs? You wonder about the RNC. Do we have the right people running the show? Because we, 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 we're not doing something right. I think that's very obvious. Welcome into TYT Overruled. I am your host, Adrian Lawrence. Measures generally have not done well in the post obs decision after the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe. Are you worried about the backlash on Republicans next week in your state? No. If you look at issue one, uh, it's a radical proposal. And whether you're pro choice or pro life, uh, it just goes much, much too far. The Ohio governor is likely feeling quite foolish today as his state made clear that it's intent on protecting abortion rights. Over 57 percent of those in Ohio pushed to enshrine abortion rights into the state constitution. The state also agreed to legalize recreational marijuana. Former Pennsylvania Senator Rick Santorum believed this was a deadly combination. You put very sexy things like abortion and marijuana on the ballot and a lot of young people come out and vote. It, 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 was, a, it was a secret sauce for disaster in Ohio. I don't know what they were thinking, yeah. but um, that's why I'm, I, I thank goodness that most of the states in this country don't allow you to put everything on the ballot because right. pure democracies are not the way to run a country. So Wait, what did he say? <laughs> Most of the states in this country don't allow you to put everything on the ballot because right. pure democracies are not the way to run a country. So Talk about saying the quiet part out loud. The right really struggles with the idea of democracy and it actually doing its thing. And they're likely struggling with what just went down in the bluegrass state, where the people held on to Democratic Governor Andy Bashir over Republican State Attorney General Daniel Cameron, who happened to have Trump's backing. Fun fact, in the 21st century, every Kentucky gubernatorial election has predicted the next U.S. presidential winner. If that holds true, Biden would stay in the White House. In light of these election results, Chris Christie doesn't think that's too far from happening and that the GOP should not get chesty about a Trump comeback. Any Republican who's overconfident about beating Joe Biden next year is a foolish Republican. Um, the president's uh, incumbency will be a very strong tool on his behalf. Um, and so if he is the candidate for the Democratic Party, which appears he will be, um, he will always be a difficult opponent. He defeated an incumbent president himself just three years ago. So I don't think anybody should be overconfident. But what we should be concerned about is if we're going to absolutely put a loser up against him. Donald Trump lost to him in 2020. Donald Trump has led us to losers up and down the ticket for the House, for the Senate, um, and in governorships. Um, this has been a disastrous run for the Republican Party, with Trump picking these candidates and embracing them, and independent voters all across this country rejecting him. Do you think Tuesday night's election results speak to who's going to take the White House next year? You let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hit those like and follow buttons, and thanks for watching. Yeah.